the battle rages. Galatians 5 and verse 17, For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. So in this passage, as Paul begins as explaining to us about walking in the Spirit, he does recognize that there is a battle that's going on. He says the flesh and the Spirit, the, the, the desires of the, of the flesh are evil, and they are contrary to the desires of the flesh. The flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. That means they are pulling in opposite directions. Uh, they are not guiding us or they're not directing us in the same direction. The flesh is opposite to the way the Spirit of God wants to go. The Holy Spirit is leading us in the ways of God, in the ways of holiness, in the ways of purity, in the ways of, of godliness. But the flesh is the exact opposite. Now, if a believer though in his heart may want to desire to do things that are pleasing to God, but if a believer is living his or her life yielded to the flesh, he says, then you'd end up doing the things that you don't wish, really wish to do. So whom you, what you allow or whom you allow to have uh, the greater influence on your life will determine whether you end up going the way of the flesh or the way of the spirit. So this battle, this constant contradictory battle and it goes on in the life of the believer and as long as you and I are in this world and as long as you and I live in a physical body having to deal with the issues of the mind and the soul you know this battle will be going on but we must learn to live out of our spirit and live a life as we said in, in our earlier program to live to walk in the spirit to live submitted yielded and under the influence of the Holy Spirit. So while this battle may be going on, we, as we yield to ourselves to the Holy Spirit, we will overcome the pull of the flesh that is taking us in a direction that is totally opposite to the way of the Holy Spirit. Recognize the battle, but make your choice. You choose to walk in the Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we choose today to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. We choose to be submitted to Him and we choose to be under His influence, knowing that as we walk in the Spirit, we will not yield to the desires of the flesh. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.